my pleasure to welcome you here to this the sixth staging of the Hush Symposium. And the Hush Symposium as a deliverable of the Junior Center's programs of vision has taken on a life of its own in the sense that it has engaged not only government but also non-government partners and very importantly it has engaged children and youths which is really a big part of the work of the Institute of Jamaica. The junior centers mainly cater to children ages 6 to 18 years and these are very vulnerable years of our lives. And in executing its mandate, the programs of vision, which is the junior centers and now the Simon Bolivar Cultural Center, not only provides for facilitating young persons and their parents to acquire knowledge and develop skills, but we look at the holistic development of children and youths. May is Child Month. And the Institute of Jamaica also take this opportunity to partner with the Charles Mount Committee as this hot symposium is held in May of every year. The hot symposium this year focuses on the theme, a walk in my shoe. What is a walk in my shoe? A walk in my shoe is really recognizing the challenges, experiences, the pitfalls, what is described as failure. I notice I say what is described as failure. And what it really helps us to do is recognize that there are two sides to a coin. Right? If you look at your coin, you have two sides to the coin. And the side of the coin that represents all that I described as the pitfalls, the failures, the shortcomings, the challenges that we have as people really prepare us with life lessons that allow us to flip the coin to the successes, the positivity, the achievements being the best that we can be as individuals and as a country. And as I would say, Jamaicans, little but with all our, we are the best at what we want to be. And I believe that we have several greats sitting in this room today. And the Hush Symposium helps us to just reflect on the challenges that all of us have. If we look at our personal situation, every single one of us sitting in this room today will have challenges or have had challenges. But the important thing is how we rise above those challenges. And I'm hoping that out of the symposium, we would have strategies, pathways, a road map towards our individual success, which spells the success of our nation, Jamaica. So we will have different interactions by our presenters. And I am hoping that one day, persons sitting in here will themselves become motivators be able to speak about the issues that confronted them and how you are able to rise. And you notice I said rise above those challenges. So it would not have been possible today without our sponsors and also some very specially invited guests. I want to recognize the head of the division that has responsibility for this symposium, Mrs. Jacqueline Boucher. Mrs. Boucher, I don't know that. Oh, she's sitting right up front. And you notice we said, look about Talawa. She is a lady who has committed herself to the forward thinking of the Institute of Jamaica and to the growth of the, and development of young persons. So she is head of the program's division and has overall responsibility for this program today. We have with us also Mrs. Rosalie Gage Gray, Chief Executive Officer of the Child Development Agency. We have Mrs. Latoya Minot, Manager of Public Education and Special Projects, Office of the Children's Advocate. If you're here, you can just indicate. And also from the Office of Children's Advocate, Ms. Melissa Walker an intern from the Public Relations and Special Projects. We have also 
Mrs. Claudette Richards Pius. Auntie Claudette, not here yet. We'll be here soon from Children's First Executive Director. Miss Maya Chung, Maya Chung Autism Foundation and representatives. If she's not here yet, I know that some of our representatives should be here. And we have also representatives from the Nathan Ebanks Foundation, um, in the person of Miss Shona Webster and other reps. Cry for the children, Mr. Devon Lindsay, director. I believe some persons might be outside. Oh, he's right here. Let us recognize him. We have other groups with us, youth and community groups, schools. I know that Josette will engage you by calling you out and asking that you make sure that your voices are heard. I want to thank your teachers in particular, because it starts with the teachers, recognizing the importance of this kind of symposium and ensuring that the necessary arrangements were made for you to be here as students. Our booth holders are outside. Make sure that you have a chance to collect the pamphlets, brochures, especially for the persons who aren't here, that you can share the experience with them. And the media, we want to thank you all for being here, and other members of my team, which is IOJ, that have made this possible. We here at the IOJ want you to sit back, relax, enjoy, learn from today's exercise, and our sponsors are all listed here. It is not possible within the government of Jamaica to have certain programs without corporate support. And I want to especially thank all the organizations that are listed on the front. But if you turn to the back of your program, this is the age of technology. And I know many people have their smartphones and other devices. So you're gonna follow us on Facebook you're going to like the Institute of Jamaica, Junior Center, and Simon Bolivar Cultural Center, so that you can always share your experiences with us, and we can also share with you what is happening here at the Institute of Jamaica. So if you're using Twitter, we're asking you to recognize and big up this host symposium, because it is by you that we're able to share these good experiences that we have. So I want to thank you for being here. Sit back, relax, and over to you, our Masters of Ceremonies, Just it. Thank you.